Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zeus Tech. Hey guys, so today in this video, we're going to be talking about sets in Python. Yay! So, this is going to be a pretty simple example, a pretty simple, um, sort of pretty simple video, as sets are basically lists, but with two main differences. So, at first, I'm going to be explaining what's the difference from a set with and a list, and then I'm going to be showing you some examples of sets. Now, so, sets are basically lists, but there are two main differences that keep them apart. So, number one, they use curly brackets instead of straight brackets, like lists do. So, as you know, for lists, there's always brackets like this. While for sets, brackets are like this. These are like these are dictionary brackets, but they're sets. No. And the second thing, the second reason why they're different from lists, is that when you print a set, the order is completely random. There's nothing that you're able to predict about it. It's it always prints in the most randomest orders ever. Which is the second thing now so let me show you some examples of sets so let's do something and create a name name equals and we're gonna put the curly brackets brackets for sets and let's put in some names Josh um, Bob Bill um, Jack Jill Went up a hill. I feel like that's appropriate. Appropriate. Sorry, I have having a bunch of voice cracks. Now, so let's do something and print name. And you see, it's completely random. It's Bill, Josh, Jack, went up a hill, Bob, Jill. It's completely random. And if we run it again, random again. Jack, Bill, Bob, Jill, went up a hill, Josh. So, this is an example of sets. But there's actually two ways we can specify a set. So let's do something. And first, let me just prove it to you guys that this is actually a set. So to check the, to check the type of something, all you can do is just print and type, and then whatever the list is or the set is, whatever it is. Now, if you run this, you see, class set. So let me do something. And let me just now uh, bring back name equal. But say we only have one Jimmy. And if you run this, you see, still set. Now, so this is one way we can do it. But say that we only need one value. There's a second way we can do it. Because in certain occasions, sets can be mistaken for dictionaries in Python that like Python itself may not know in certain situations. And as you continue to program more and more, you can find those situations. So what we can do here is put name equal set. But let you guys know, this will only work if you only have one value. If you're only putting in one value, that's when you make then that's when you specify this. And if we put um a name for example, you see, it works. But do you see this? This is where it's pretty confusing. What is this? Why is this here? Why are why did it split my name up into a random list into a random set? Well what it does is that it takes every single value and mixes it up. Really cool, right? So that's another thing that sets can do. But one thing, what if you have want to make a set, but you don't know what values are inside of it? If you run this, you see, it's going to think it's a dictionary. Well, that's another situation where this will come in handy. You can specify set, not put anything, put anything inside of it, and it's going to think it's a set. So you see here, if you put a value inside of it, it's going to scramble up the, each value. And if you put it by itself, it's going to make it a set. So, 
So, this is how we can make sets in Python. And let's quickly revise, shall we? So, this is how we make a set when we know exactly what we want to put inside of it. This is how we make a set, and we can only put one value in here. And what it does is that it takes each single character and jum jumbles it up. What we do here is that we, if we don't know what values we, we want inside of a set, but we still know what we want it to be a set, we specify set. Here, we specify the class. Because otherwise, if we just put in the curly brackets, as you see here, it's going to think it's a dictionary. And though, these are the um, common uses of sets. And sets can be printed the same way as for loops. I mean, sorry, it's lists. So if you know how to print a list, you know how to print a set. But remember, if you use a for loop for it, it's still going to be print random. Now, so this is how we can make sets in Python. Now, if you enjoyed the video, a sub to the channel will be amazing. And also make sure to comment down below how it was and like, as I love looking at the feedback and making my videos better based off that. So, I'm Zeus Tech and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!